Business is the engine that keeps the world turning. It's the source of products, livelihoods, and opportunities. Hi, I'm Terry Bradshaw. Whether your focus is B2B or B2C, join me as we explore some of today's leading enterprises. What you're seeing is a giant 3D printer. It is known as Laser Deposition Technology, or LDT. LDT is 3D printing, but on a much larger scale. It's capable of printing metals and performing tasks usually considered impossible. The technology is typically used to build freeform objects, repair metal components, or add features to forgings and castings. 3D printing, as most people know it, is with smaller desktop type units that use plastic materials whereas our laser deposition technology is using powdered metal to create the parts on a large scale and also used to do repairs to large metal components. Powder fed systems can manufacture very large parts up to seven feet tall and are much faster than powder bed systems. LDT is a disruptive technology because it changes the way we're able to manufacture parts today. At RPMI, we have built some of the largest and most complex freeform builds in the world. Many of these parts and designs would not be capable with conventional technologies and we're able to drastically reduce lead times. RPM Innovations specializes in laser deposition technology. Located in Rapid City, South Dakota, the company primarily works with the aerospace and defense industries, among others. RPM and Associates was contacted in early 2001 by the president of South Dakota School of Mines and Technology uh, looking for a commercial partner in laser welding, as it was called at the time. We decided to go ahead and, and team with them to start the development of the laser deposition technology. We purchased an initial piece of equipment in 2004, and so in 2008 and 9, we decided to design and build our own systems, which we used in-house until 2013, when we decided to spin off the RPM Innovations, which is the laser group from the core company. And then 2014, we decided to go ahead and start selling our equipment to third parties to help grow the technology. In LDT, a high-powered laser focuses on the target and creates a melt pool on the surface. Powdered metal is injected into this melt pool. This powdered metal is then absorbed into the melt pool, creating a small weld bead. So what's happening behind me is we're using a laser beam to create a molten pool that metal powder is then sprayed into through our nozzles. While this is happening, the head is moved around in two dimensions to create the entire layer. Once a layer is complete, the head will then step up and repeat this process for the next layer and so on until you have the entire part built. LDT freeforms are used to make parts that are very difficult or impossible to make using conventional technology. The operation involves processing a CAD file through a motion control software package to create a toolpath. The toolpath is imported into the LDT system, which prints the part one layer at a time. Our laser systems have the largest environmentally controlled chamber and some of the most advanced software for freeform builds available today. Laser deposition technology can be combined with conventional manufacturing to form a sort of hybrid manufacturing. RPMI claims hybrid manufacturing can significantly cut costs for manufacturers. One of the applications that we use is in making large diameter and large uh, bearings for gasifier systems. These used to be very large tool steel forgings. Uh, I'm talking four foot diameter, 20 inch diameter, very large D2 forgings, difficult to process. Now we use steel forgings and we clad with the cobalt material. So now we can maintain costs, we can cut delivery and increase wear lives. One of the most exciting aspects of LDT is that it can also be used to repair parts that were once considered irreparable. With the ability to control heat input into the weld deposit, LDT can repair high value parts without damaging the base metal. RPM Companies has been a true remarkable success story in Rapid City. What I see when you look at their facility out here in the business park today is just a model of success, doing things the right way and accomplishing some pretty impressive things. The most interesting part is the freeform fabrication, where we actually take a CAD file from a customer and we actually grow the part layer by layer. 
These parts can be very, very complex. They can be very simple. The more complex parts that could take up to maybe 1,500 hours to build are parts that maybe can't be built by use of conventional technologies. Not only can you build it for your customer, but you can also reduce the lead time.